Hello YouTubers, Merry Christmas, and welcome to Day 2 of the 12 Days of Christmas Cars, or should I now say, referred to as the 12 Days of Christmas Cars Diecast, as shown on this drawing. And today we're going to take a look at Queen Elizabeth II, the now dead Queen of England from Cars 2. Now before we get right into the review, let me discuss something. So, I got Queen Elizabeth II here, along with Sergeant High Gear, in a package from a Chinese seller off of eBay week a few week a couple or a few weeks ago or so and now take note I wanted to review this to to commemorate the 70th anniversary of the Queen's reigning in England as well as her death and also I since nobody voted any car for day two, I may as well suggest a car for day two myself. And now for the retrospective. The Queen Elizabeth II is a 1949 Rolls Royce Silver Dawn who happens to be a dignified racing fan. And during her appearance in Cars 2, she was seen at Buckingham Palace, along with her grandson Prince William, who I unfortunately don't have, and Sir Miles Axelrod, uh, watching the third and final race of the World Grand Prix. Then, then later on, on when Lightning McQueen, when Lightning McQueen and Mater. Uh, arrived at Buckingham Palace with Mater having a bomb on his engine and and the rocket jets on his back they arrived at Buckingham Palace to figure out who was behind the all-in-all -all conspiracy and eventually Finn this led to Finn McMissile and Holly Shiftwell showing up and and you can tell who the cold print is. Yep, you guessed it. It's Sir Miles Axelrod. And they and they even found the in his engine from the photo from a photograph which was a match and it which the engine itself is an old British engine with Whitworth bolts, the same bolts that attached a tick the time bomb on Mater's engine. And after, and after Axelrod's defeat, Mater was knighted by the Queen for his bravery. And Mater even introduced the Queen to Lightning and Finn. And she was even, and she was even featured in the Cars 2 video game as an unlockable player, and was voiced, and was also voiced by Vanessa Grave, who also provided the voice for Mama Topolino, who I unfortunately don't have. And now, without any further ado, oh, I mean, oh, one more thing, she was also released as in the. Cars 2 diecast series back in the early 2010s, somewhere between 2011 and 2012. And now, without any further ado, let's dig right into the review. So, here we've got her happy facial expression, his chrome silver gray grill, and circular headlights, and the 
queen cap and her silver gray eye eyelids and her chrome silver gray crown and we've got a bit of white on the top starting from the hood and all the way to the back end and on both sides we've got her two blue two shades of blue on her enamel and fenders and her doors and her front wheels exposed and her back wheels half exposed and on the back we've got the chrome silver gray back bumper and the her trunk and her license plate saying Q E I I space 1952 as a reference to the real Queen Elizabeth the second that had was that started reigning the Queen in reigning I mean rain started reigning England from 1952 and and we, we also have her her tail lights and at the bottom we've got the undercarriage in black and it says made in China and her we also have her exhaust pipe and that is it now let's pull up some of the other British cars here we've got Sergeant High Gear Sir Miles Axelrod Finn McMissile Holly Shiftwell Nigel Gearsley and Lewis Hamilton and that is it oh and two days ago I've got a five pack from Walmart featuring DJ with green stripes boost who I wanted which now take note that this is is another boost which I want to replace the other one that I have which is broken Thailand Cars 1 Lightning McQueen which I want to make into the custom Thailand Tar Lightning McQueen out of the two Thailand Cars 1 Lightning McQueens Wingo and Snot Rod but that will be another day but other that, than that what do you guys think? which British car is your favorite? let me know what you think as, and which car for day 3 do you want me to record next? let me know what you think as well as leaving suggestions of which car to review next for tomorrow in the comment section below as well as voting which car for day 3 tomorrow and if you have enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like and subscribe also don't forget to check out some of my other videos on my channel and if nobody and if I don't see another suggestion for day 3 I may as well suggest a car myself and I hope to see you guys next time for tomorrow so please stay tuned other than that Merry Christmas and goodbye now